Hello my friends, it's so good to be back with you guys this Sunday. I just wanted to say thank you guys for completing your Psalm 91 challenge and for completing your Grateful Jar challenge. It was so amazing and so great to see you guys saying the verses um, and using different memory techniques. So I know that some of you guys even drew pictures or you guys wrote the verse down, which is awesome. And thank you guys also for sending in those pictures of you guys completing the Grateful Jar challenge. Um, so amazing to see that you guys are so grateful for everything and it was so great to see just those full grateful jars. Um, so for today we actually have two new challenges for you guys. So one of the challenges is going to be for our grade school kids and this is going to be for our grade one to grade six kids. So we're going to start off with that one. So um, for our first challenge we are going to be learning the books of the Bible. So in the Bible there's actually 66 books in here. So we have two parts of the Bible, which one is the Old Testament and one is the New Testament. So in the Old Testament, these are the books that are written before Jesus was born. And there are 39 books. And in the New Testament, these are the books that were written after Jesus was born. And we have 27 books. Now we're going to memorize all the different names, uh, all the different names of the books of the Bible. So that's going to be awesome. And because there's 66, we're going to actually break it down each week. So for this week, we're going to be learning the books of the law in the Old Testament. So these were the books written by Moses. So in the Old Testament, um, those books, there's five of them. So we have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. In our New Testament books, we're going to be learning the books of the gospel this week. And so those are the ones that recount Jesus' story, that tell us about what Jesus did here while he was on earth. And then it tells us also about Jesus' death and resurrection. Um, so those books are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So um, just a way for us to memorize. So what we're going to do, uh, or what I did to help me memorize, is I took a piece of paper and I wrote down the book in two colors. So I did the Old Testament in purple and I did my New Testament books in blue. Um, so to help me memorize, what I can do is I can take these pieces where I have Genesis, Exodus, and I'm going to shuffle them all over and then I will put them back in order. But you guys would do it on the table and just put them back in order. And as we add in the books, this would be really helpful just to remember also the order. So go Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and then you would have Numbers and Deuteronomy. Ooh. Okay, let's see if I can get those two. Okay. So that would be my two. And then next week when we learn our next books, we can add on to that. So that's just something you guys can do to help you guys memorize the books. And then I did the exact same thing for the New Testament where I have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John written down. And I would put those in order. So we first have Matthew and then there's Mark. And then we have Luke and John. Okay, so next week when you guys um, learn the next few books, you guys can add on to these and just, yeah, we can just keep on adding on to those. So that's going to be our challenge for grade one to six. Now for our preschoolers and our JKs and SKs, we have a different challenge for you guys. So we are going to be learning from the Bible, the verse John 3, 16. Now to help you guys learn this verse, I um, have some actions that you guys can follow along so we can learn this verse. Okay. So the verse goes like this. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life and then we go john 3 16. okay so that was just a fast version so we'll learn the first part again so i'll just show you guys the actions again so it goes like this so we'll do the first part which is for god so we point up to the sky he loved, we're like holding our heart or we're holding our chest, the world, we're, making, we're putting our hands around the world, that he gave, so we're putting our hands out like we're giving something, his one and only, so we're holding one and only, son, rock your hands like you're holding a baby, that whoever, so now we're pointing to different people in the room, believes in him, oh, one second, believes, sorry, so believes, you're pointing to your head because we're thinking, um, believes in him shall not perish. So we're making a big X. We're not perishing. We're going to have eternal life. And we're going to go John. So make your hands like Bible, like you're reading something. Three, six, T. Okay. 
So you guys can practice that at home. And remember to send in your pictures and your videos of you guys practicing. Um, and we also have um, the pages on the website to help you guys remember what your challenges are. Thanks for joining us this week, guys.